Hello and welcome to free VBA tips. Today I will be talking about the automation where you just need to click on a button and all the Excel files get merged to a single file. So these are two files which has been merged to a single file. Now I will show you the code how the code is working and I will also explain the line by line code to you so that you understand and you can also create the similar kind of automation for yourself. So first of all, let's open Excel workbook and just save this workbook as XLSM. Now you can go to developer tab and then insert and use ActiveX control. Now you can right click and choose command object edit name as click here to merge files. And then again, right click on this and go to properties and give it a meaningful name like ptn import files now i will just double click on this now we will write the code so we have to declare few variables then we have source workbook this will be the workbook from where we are importing everything excel dot workbook and so I will be writing application dot screen updating equal to false so that I don't see what is happening in the background. Now I will be using this variable default path. This is the location where from where it will import the file. So default path equal to this workbook dot path. So we have to put a location. So I will be uh, creating a folder as import where I will keep all my files so now we will go to the directory where everything is saved so i will use this string s my directory s and at the top just write option explicit so that it becomes mandatory to declare all the variables so we also have to check if there are no files in the folder then it should prompt us a message set destination workbook is equal to workbooks dot add so we are adding a fresh workbook and its name is destination where everything would be copied to after that we will run a loop a while loop while s doc name is not is not equal to blank so what it is saying run the loop till the time there are documents present so let me just end the loop as well so i'll write vend it will take it up and then at the end i want a message box message box done okay so everything should come between this while and vend here so let us write now this loop is running over here and it is finding all the files which are present in that folder and we are opening those files one by one it should be an excel file so we'll write something like if s doc name is like star dot excel and let me put one more star here because it's, it could be xlsm as well or excel x as well then then what we want we will open the file if there is excel file let's open it so we will set source workbook source workbook is the file which we are opening and we'll put workbooks dot open and the location of file is my directory and s doc name so when we are opening these files let us open these files as read only i don't want any accidental changes to these files so now we have opened the file so what we want now we have to identify how many rows or columns are there in the file but before that we also have to ensure that there could be n number of sheet in the file so we have to just loop through all the sheets that are present in the workbook let me just close this one i have opened if over here so i have to close it as well and if so whenever we are opening something we have to close it as well so let us loop all the sheets in the workbook so we'll write something like for for each sheet in source 
workbook dot sheets so we are telling run this loop for each worksheet in the workbook that i have opened and let me let me just close it as well next sh because it will be going to next sheet for each to keep going to next sheet now we have to find the last row over here so we will write something like uh, last row the variable which have we have used last row and then let me also take last column don't worry i'll also give you the code in the dis it is important to understand it repetitions over here so just use with sh so what it will do is and end with what it will do is we have to write like sh dot sheet one so in if we have declared this over here with sh we can easily begin with dot cells and then dot rows dot count now i'm taking the last row so it will be taking a and then end excel up dot row similarly i want the last column as well we have taken the last row we have taken the last column now we have to select that particular range of the source file so we'll write range now here we will be using a code to handle the headers of the file if we are opening 10 files and all the 10 files might have header so we just want to copy header only from the first file but in your case there could be a reason that you want the header every time so i will tell you that how you can make a minor change where you will get the header every time vba dot iif if, if it, it is a condition if header copied underscore flag this is just to ensure that header is not copied multiple time now you have copied everything now you have to paste everything as well so where we will be pasting it we are pasting that in the destination so we'll type something like with destination workbook dot sheet and obviously it will be sheet one here i'll write end with when we are pasting everything then we also have to check the last row and column of that particular file as well this code is to ensure start from one now we have to paste everything only the values after this i want to write a code just to ensure that there is nothing copied in the clipboard and everything get cleared out here is the catch but in case you want to copy the header always you can just make it false so every time your header will get copied now this loop will run but how this will go to the next file this is going to next sheet every time but this is not going to next file so we'll write something like this over here as doc name we have opened the file over here like you see but it is not closed anywhere right so we have to close the file so what we do to close the file just after this sheet because if or, or just after if it is opened so just before if we have to close the file so write workbook s doc name this is the file name dot close and let's see how this works open it done very good so i hope this makes sense if you have any questions you can ask me in comment for similar kind of videos you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching have a nice day ahead bye bye